Hey, we're live again. It's James P.K. and Transites.io. I want to show you a cool new hack that I use with Mind Maps and Notebook LM's brand new infographic feature. Now, if you haven't seen it before, Notebook LM is uh, it's one of the go-to apps, AI apps, if you're in the education space, course creator, anyone that's doing anything about presenting frameworks or processes and having the ability to organize all of your research that you've done personally and or now that uh, Notebook LM has done for you, which is what the video I did yesterday was about. Um, now they've added some additional features. I'm going to show you those right now. And these are really cool features that anyone can use to create powerful, professional infographics. So let's take a look at Notebook LM. We'll play around with it a little bit and I'll show you my little hack on how to actually put this together. And uh, I'm just going to open up a brand new copy of or a blank Notebook LM. If you haven't used this before, um, it is at notebooklm.google.com. All you need is a Google account. The free version allows you to have uh, 50 sources. The paid version, I think, allows you to have 300 sources. And all the sources, let me just delete some of the ones that I was doing as test ones here. Um, I, uh, the difference is, is the sources, there's two kinds of sources. One, it used to be you had to provide them. So for any particular example, I'll just open up a new notebook now. You had the ability to upload your own sources. It could be stuff from that you just have on your computer. Uh, it could be YouTube videos or it could be URLs for websites. Maybe it's something on your Google Drive. You can even just copy and cut and paste text in uh, and do it. And again, I'm on the paid version. So you look down in the bottom right there, it says 300. I can put 300 sources in. The free version, you're allowed to put 50 in. The part that they added that I did the video on yesterday, this whole idea of discovering uh, sources, and I talked, I showed you a really cool way to kind of hack it if you're a course creator, hack that research feature and get it to get a specific kind of research that allowed it to be uh, really effective when you're creating educational content. And the example they did was specifically for course outlines and actually lesson plans and all of that. So what's the other new thing that they've added and why should you pay attention? Well, it's right here on the right hand side. We have just above my head, we have infographic and we have slide deck. Now I'm going to do slide deck in another video, but I do want to show you infographic because it is a real powerful tool. If you are using mind maps, when you're organizing visually, the research that you're putting here into Notebook LM. And I'll show you why in a second. Now, before I do that, I want to go over quickly what the little pencil is here. Now, this is a new feature that came out. You, I, hopefully you have it. I had to wait a little bit actually before it showed up uh, on my particular copy. But if I go and hit the pencil here and I hit it, it's not going to do anything yet because I haven't added any content. So where do I get the content from? Well, I can upload a source and again, do some of those things I can do on search sources, add some of my own, just do some research. But I want to show you a special kind of source to add, one that guarantees that you're able to create infographics that specifically meet the requirements that you have to use for course lessons or things like that. And I'm going to show you two examples of ones that I've done in the past. This was one that I just did a little bit earlier when I was testing this. This is my seven step guide to flawless online teaching. This infographic I had nothing to do with, none of the text, colors, images, nothing it was done for me from what I'm going to show you. Uh, that's pretty good. I like that. I didn't give it any special instructions other than adding the one file that I'm going to show you what I did. And then the other one I had was from a really complex uh, 10 step process that I have. And again, I didn't do any of this. I can't find any spelling errors on it. The graphics are important. The steps are identified. The additional parts that I had are all identified. It's a simple anchoring um, way that people that I'm teaching a process or framework to, this is something that they can easily identify with and allow them to have a good, clear overall picture of what it is that's happening. And I'm just going to mention this before I show you. For my workflow, I don't know what yours is, but for my workflow, what I normally do is I will use some of these AI, to, AI tools to do some research and or clarify what it is that I'm trying to do. And often I'll get some kind of, like I've got a whole bunch of prompts. I don't necessarily use them anymore, but I did. 
uh, when I was first starting out, it was like create a syllabus for me, or here's the curriculum, or the plan, or the lesson plan, or I'd have prompts to get bullet points and pieces in place. And then when I had them, what I would then do is I would go personally and I would go and add them to a mind map. Now, why would I go and add them to a mind map? Well, for me personally, again, this is just the way I like to do it, is that when I'm working with a flow or a process or a framework, I like to be able to see it so that I can go through it. Often I use the mind map as part of the presentation and just kind of go through it. It's a talking point for me, but it's also the reference of the steps. It's still text. It's not really an infographic and it doesn't communicate as much as an infographic would. So I would really like to have an infographic of it. I have the organization here, but how do I turn it into an infographic? Often what a lot of people do is they'll kind of take this and hopefully, you know, they have a Canva account. They may have some templates they've used. They may try and export something and then have to go and figure it out and get it to work the way they want it to. Whole bunch of extra work. Uh, I've got this. I brought my AI information in. I played around with it. You know, I changed some wording. I removed stuff. I added sections. But I'm right here now. I got my seven steps are, uh, in place here. Seven steps in a summary. I'm all good to go. So here's the little hack. And I want you to kind of think of this as something that you can use to create infographics whenever you want for any kind of the process or frameworks that you're teaching. Big or small, doesn't matter. And especially works well if you're using uh, these uh, mind maps. I'm in XMind. And in the bottom right hand corner, I'll open this up again, the bottom right hand corner, it has Outliner. And what this is, is this is bullet points of the mind map. Now, this is just one, and I can just copy and paste this. And I have it. That's one thing I can do. So I can just copy that. So we'll copy it for now. The other thing I can do is in many of these tools, you have the ability to go to File. And when you're in File, there's usually Export, and there's one called Markdown. Now, you can use PDF or any of the other ones. I use Markdown because that is the file format that these large language model tools uh, use on a regular basis. So you can copy and paste it or save it as a markdown file. Now, what am I going to do with that? Well, let's go back to Notebook LM and see what we can put together. We have this notebook that has nothing in it yet. Why don't I give it my markdown file that has the mind map laid out in it? And this is why I'm going to do that. I'm just going to go and we'll do add sources. In my case, I'm going to click copy text in the bottom. I'm just going to paste that big long test that we had. And did I save it? There we are, paste. There it is. That's from the infograph, or sorry, from the mind map I had. I'm going to click insert. And it's now pasting the text in. And the text is only based on the mind map that I created. So watch what happens here. I could go and clarify things here. I don't want to do that. I already figured out my mind map. I know what I want. I know I just need an infographic. If I move over to the right hand side again, there's a couple things that happens. If I click on the pencil, it's now available to me and I can customize the infographic. What can I customize? The languages, the format of it in terms of the design, whether it be square, portrait, or landscape. Think social media. Courses, slides, anytime that you're trying to have a particular image to supplement or complement or communicate what it is about a process that you're teaching or a framework. I have concise, standard, and detailed. And then I can also add some additional information, maybe about colors or the types of uh, images that are used. I'm just leaving it blank here. You can play around if you have your particular one. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click generate. And what's going to happen is on the right hand side, just above my head, where my head was, it's generating an infographic for me. Now, I've only provided the mind map details. That's all that I gave it. So in when it creates the infographic, it's going to use the process or the framework that I gave it. It's not necessarily going to go through all of the generated material if I went back and forth with a chat. It's only using the one document 
that one document that I uploaded, that's the only thing that it's referencing. And I'm now going to get a really nice infographic that shows up the way that I want that I can use for any process. And again, it can be as complex as you want, as simple as you want. Landscape portrait square, it'll fit into lessons, marketing material, all of the things that are important when we want to make sure we have a real clear, easy to understand picture of that framework that we put together. Now, while it's running in the background, I will show you something else that I do have available for you. And we have at trainingsites.io, if you haven't joined before, it's absolutely free to join. We have a whole bunch of frameworks that we actually teach here. Uh, and uh, one of the ones or things that happens is sometimes you're not sure about how can I turn something into a framework or I have some notes that I made. How can I put it together in a framework? But I'm going to show you a simple prompt you can use. I put it together here. We'll just see if I have it here. I'll make sure the link is available for you. Uh, and here it is, is to take a clear step-by-step -step, uh, process for the topic. So you can use your topic here and it has a prompt to follow the rules and it'll create a framework with the title for you and put it out. And this is this prompt that is especially designed to allow you to create infographics. So I'll leave that prompt for you. You can certainly play around with it, use it. I think uh, Notebook LM with this one simple hack is another easy way for anyone who's creating courses and especially using courses or using um, a notebook to manage their courses. It's just a really uh, cool way to do it. Now let's go take a look. Uh, it is, uh, yeah, we've got it opened up here. I'll just open up the one that we have right hand side. Let me just open it. Uh, Mastery Online Teaching Flow. <laughs> wow. Okay, there we go. So from that mind map, this is the infographic I got. This is pretty spectacular. Let me see for uh, plan your flow, set up your tech. We can go and change the sizes and stuff of it. Of course, it doesn't look like there's any spelling errors. And again, I didn't do anything with this. This was done specifically from the mind map. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, my name is James. Like and subscribe to the channel. Come and join us at trainingsites.io where we help you start, build, and grow your education business. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I'll be back actually uh, maybe tomorrow with another video and we'll talk about how to create slide decks as well from your mind maps. So I hope you enjoyed this. Take care. Expect the best. We'll be back shortly.